Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech and we are going to attempt to rebuild this battery that goes into a 1400 series power book or 117, 133 and 166 uh, megahertz CPUs and this battery fits all of them and whether it's a passive matrix or the active matrix machines. So anyway, these batteries are very, very, pretty much non-existent as far as buying a new one. I've not seen one. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to try to rebuild this guy. We're gonna tear it apart. I know there's four cells in this because I've seen photographs of them. And uh, I wanna tear it apart and see what information we can get off these cells. So anyway, we'll be back in 10 seconds. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to open this thing up. Uh, hopefully we don't uh, break it here, um, but We'll find out here. And hold on a second. And uh, so I'm not sure how we're going to open it. Um, I'm sure there's some clips in here. So I guess what I will do is I will take maybe the small screwdriver here first and just kind of probe around here and see what we can do. I'm sure it's. Uh, glued in there and I'm sure there's some clips in here and what I'm thinking is maybe just take a, an exacto knife and just kind of score in here and see if we can pop it open here. I'll try to go around to both sides here just to see here. I don't want to really mark up this case here. Let's just try the utility knife here. Let's see what we can do here. Panel comes off of there. Okay.
So these are the cells here. So this is what it looks like. Uh, 1400 battery. And you can see these contacts here corroded up here a little bit there. Now we'll get this other piece off in the board. There's a board that goes on here that's connected. So these should literally just come out of here. Let's see here. I think these just fall out. Yuck. There we go. That there is all leaked acid on the inside of that plastic car. This is a plastic and there's like a mylar or maybe like a um, cellophane uh, covering here. We'll uh, clean that all up there. And here's the battery pack here. And see these are Sanyo batteries right here. You can see right there. Let me get this really close here to the camera here. And that's a Sanyo. And that's like the picture that I saw on the Mac Rumors forum. And there's a, and you see this is all corroded up here. Uh, there's a board here. Uh, revision 3C. And so things are attached to this. So basically what we do is we need to replace these four cells. And now I have to do my research. Uh, looks like these are actually wrapped in, could be, almost looks like cardboard, almost. Um, but there's, uh, it looks like that's a, uh, not sure what that component is. I have to look it up here, but the um, the name of it it's a Sanyo uh, nickel hydride metal pack twice two, and it's the model number AHR dash four slash three A nine point six volts three thirty five hundred milliamp pack. So this outputs nine point six volts. So these are six. I'm not sure how to find out what these cells are. But you can see they're very, very corroded up here. But that's what they look like, guys, right there. So anyway, what we're going to do is now we have to do the hunt to find some new cells. When we find the new cells, then it's just a matter of uh, resoldering all the stuff back on the end of it. Of course, we will give it a good washing, or washing, I should say. Um, looks like the board's okay, because I can see it's it's real clean there, so that's good. So, looks like the corrosion was like here. But it looks like this board is okay, because it looks like it, it oozed out right here more toward the center here. So, Anyway, guys, yeah, so actually it was pretty easy to pop open. You can see when you look at these inside of these packs here, there's like a little lip here, and there's little, and that's, it looks like it had some adhesive on it. And the same way here, there's a lip there, and then you can see where there's a little adhesive there. So we'll get this all washed up, cleaned up. Um, looks like there's a little, I'm not sure if that's a connector there or what. I'm not sure what that goes to. to let's see here. What would that, um, oh, it looks like it went, touched on that. So it looks like this has got some purpose on it too. But we'll get it all washed up and cleaned up here and see what it looks like on the inside there. But, uh, yeah, and this thing's, this thing's pretty heavy too. I'm kind of surprised how heavy it is here. These are these are loose. They're just literally just butted up against each other. They're soldered. They're soldered on here. And um, 
but now I have information that I can use <clears throat> and I can hunt up these cells here and you can see right here this this one here really really exploded up right there that, that one's gone and that one's gone that one's I think it's just like that one it looks pretty good actually not too bad so I might be able to be nice if I could get be shocking if there's a voltage reading on that but I seriously doubt it but anyway I'm very happy that I got those so so anyway guys yeah so this is a part one of the battery rebuild and like I said I'm glad that I was able to get it apart I was really worried about busting it up but it came apart really easy and uh, it's a matter of you know, we'll clean it, clean everything up, but obviously before we put it back together. And that just, I don't want to snap it, to do, snap it down there, but that just kind of snaps down on there. So yeah, very cool. Very good. Came apart easier than what I thought it was going to. So, okay guys, so anyway, um, this has just been a quick video. There he is. So yeah, if we can get this rebuilt, then I can rebuild the other battery because then this is the one that I'm going to learn off of and I took the worst one. Now the other one has absolutely no leakage on it at all that I can see on the outside. So I'll have to take pictures of this just to kind of study it here and uh, I'm not going to take it apart until I find the actual cells then we'll, we'll disassemble it and get it all put back together here. So yeah, it's pretty good. Okay guys, all right. So, okay, so this has been a successful tear part of this battery. And um, I'm glad we were able to do that. And these parts here look good, nothing got broken. And so far, I'll have to, we'll have to test these components, find out what the functions of them are, and go from there. So anyway guys, um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. Appreciate that. And also click the bell. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.